All right, if you love music as much as we do, you're going to adore our newest fave follow. His name is Terrell Grice. He's the host of The Terrell Show. It is, it's become the hottest ticket on YouTube. It sure is. Okay, we're going to chat with Terrell in a moment, but first, let's take a look at his incredible journey. Everybody, it's your boy Terrell. Welcome back to my channel. With his signature blue wall and some of the best vocalists in the world. The Terrell Show on YouTube has become a go-to destination for music's biggest talents. Host Terrell Grice uses his humor, positivity, and his passion for music to not only interview up-and-coming artists and icons. Your story. It, I'm like, people don't really know that much about it, but yeah. Okay, we gotta get into this. Yeah, yeah. But also to get them to sing. And I mean sing. Give me the chorus. <laughs> You've gotta do it. <laughs> Never mind, I'll find someone like you. But it wasn't always high notes for Terrell. Ten years ago, ready to change his life, he left his call center job in Orlando, Florida, and drove across the country to Hollywood with $300 to his name and a car he lived in once he got there. His determination earned him jobs in TV production before stepping in front of the camera to start his own YouTube show. Complete with a makeshift green screen and two kitchen stools, the goal throughout to shine a light on talented artists. And it caught on with more than 1.2 million subscribers today. And now stars like Kelly Clarkson, Kiki Palmer, and Kelly Rowland are stopping by and shining the light right back. Oh my so gosh, I, was like, you ate I don't know what down. I'm saying, but I'm saying it. <laughs> you ate that down, honey. It was so good. You are amazing at this. I'll always be here to tell you what light you are. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my oh my gosh. gosh. Hi, what a, guys. What a beautiful window into your life. I mean, I was just trying to think from your first guest to where you are yes. today. I mean, who was your first guest, by the way? My first guest was an R&B singer named Noah Barless. He was on a show called The Four on Fox way back in the day. And honestly, I did not want to be a host. <laughs> I was never an interviewer. Like, I look at you guys, I'm like, you guys have such a hard job. How do you do this? And I was just talking about music direct to camera by yeah. myself. Yeah. And he calls up and he's like, can I talk about music with you? And I said, oh, okay, um, you would ask you questions as well because I don't do that, but let's try it out. And I guess I'm still trying it out. Well, <laughs> here's the thing. Yeah. You have a natural curiosity. Yes. Yes. And as Kelly Rowland said, a beautiful light. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that is what mm -hmm. people are attracted to, Man. right? It's so, you're right about it. The thing that I love about The Terrell Show is I'm really a fan of all of these people. Yeah. I have a curiosity about everything from mm. their first album to their last project. I want to know everything. Yeah. And I try to do it in a way that, you know, brings the audience in as well. I think what you're doing sitting in this chair opposite us right now is you're proving that sometimes you can go from nothing, 300 mm. bucks sleeping in your car, to being on a national television show oh and sitting God. in this chair. But <clears throat> what do you think it was that propelled you? Because many people find themselves in dire straits. They just can't figure out the way mm. out. You have to keep your head above water. Yeah. No matter what's going on around you, there could be a fire happening right <laughs> here. I'm gonna be like, it's okay, it's okay, because yeah. you have the heart for it. When I was driving from Florida to LA yeah. and it was in the middle of the night, I ran off of the road and I, I woke up from me hitting the median mm -hmm. on my way to LA in Texas. And, you know, I could have been like, you know what? I should turn around. Right. Yeah. I should go back. Too much. This is too yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah. But I wasn't going to let anything stop me. Never give up. That's yeah. my motto, no matter what's going on. You know what's amazing is it seems like you have no fear mm -hmm. or you don't let fear yeah. and anxiety yeah. dictate that's your that's better like yes it. that's that more it? like it is because it? it is scary it, you know it's this i is mean you moved to a, a place you were living in your car yeah you you didn't have any money you didn't know anyone you didn't know anybody and then also once you could move out of your car you were living in a hotel that was called the murder hotel uh, that's what i like to call it <laughs> uh -huh. it's called um there's a whole documentary about it yeah. it's called the hotel cecil or something yeah. Yeah. it was the cheapest hotel i can find guys it was like 25 dollars a night yeah. I'm like oh my gosh I can afford that I should have just stayed in my car it was <laughs> awful in there yeah. but in that hotel I found a phone book and I just you know was determined to never give up and I was flipping through the phone book looking at production companies and calling them cold calling them asking for a job who said anything yes. who said yes there was this 
lady who is a prop master um, for many different shows, and she said no at first. Yeah. But she called me back at night when I was just laying, looking yeah. at the ceiling, just crying my eyes out. And she's like, you know what? There's something about you. Will you come see me in my office at 8.30 in the morning, and I'll see what I have for you. I showed up and think like Devil Wears Prada. Yeah. You guys know that movie? Yeah. She barely said a word to me. She just <laughs> escorted me to her warehouse, and she's like, organize my pillows. Oh, jeez. I don't even like. I there were a lot of pillows. There were thousands of and pillows. That's not your thing. It's not my thing. Like okay. Like, well, how am I supposed to work? <laughs> what? Thing? I could barely drive across the country without falling asleep. So I said, you know what, Terrell, just just figure it out. I grabbed some baggies, a label maker, and just started going, going, yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. Eight hours later, she comes in. She inspects my work. She says nothing to me for eight hours. Comes in, expects to work, and she's like, hmm. Pulls out a checkbook, and just starts writing, and hands me a check for three thousand dollars. My gosh. Been like a jackpot. Two days ago, I was, you know, yeah. in my car, not knowing what to do. But that thing that told me to keep going and never give mm. up, it paid off. And I like to say she's my guardian angel because after that, I was able to get my first yeah. apartment, figure out how to live here. And, you know, she helped me jumpstart my journey. Well, we understand about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, we do. Amazing. <laughs> and we are going to add you to our fave follows list. I know. Well, thank you. We're going to keep watching. <laughs> Your yes. star rises. Yes. Thank you're you. an incredible thank human. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Thank you.